Hey guys, today I'm back with another gym wear review and we're going to be reviewing Bowen T, specifically the Megan Grubb edit. I already have some purchases from her first edit that she did back in, I think it was February this year or I could be mistaken, it could have been last year. But anyways, yeah, I have those. And I also have some stuff from her new drop that we're going to be trying on for the first time and seeing how we feel about it. My experience with Bowen T hasn't been the best. I do have a few items from them, but like... I wouldn't say they're like my staple items that I go for every single time I go to the gym. They're more of those one-off items that you just wear that one time to look extra cute. Like they have like the backless long sleeve I've worn once, but it has like no padding. So your nipples just go everywhere and it's like not that comfortable to wear. That sort of thing. But I'm hoping the new Megan Grubb collection will be something a little bit more wearable. I will show you the, the first um, collection I have from her. This was the Valentine's Day edit. The first one I bought was the crop top and the shorts this is what they look like so i got the crop top and the shorts and i got them in both the colors so this is like in the hot pink i don't know if it's what it's called i think it might be called hot pink and then i got the other one and i think it's called bubblegum or candy pink i don't know but the same thing the um top and the shorts and i ended up getting the shorts in a smaller size because they were like the other ones like weirdly loose with this megan grub edit um, I feel like I have not worn these outfits to the gym just because I feel like the shorts are a little bit too short and not really wearable for me to the gym. I do a lot of like heavy lifting, squats, deadlifts, hip thrusts and stuff. And I feel like I need a short that is not going to like be too short that I sort of feel exposed. I feel like when I wear these, they're, they're a little bit too short to be working out in. They're definitely cute for like a loungewear or like if you want to take a cute pic. I don't know about working out in. Um, they are very flattering at the back. They have like this lining that like looks cute on the bum and stuff. The crop tops are a little weird. They didn't come with padding, which annoyed me because I'm a padding kind of girl. Like, my nipples should show through everything. I just have that talent, I guess you could say. So, when I tried this on and I didn't have padding and I could see my nipples through it, it was just a little bit underwhelmed. So, I'm hoping the second one, we will have a different experience with that. So, so I got the t-shirt and the shorts in the pink of her new collection. So straight out the material feels, it's definitely, the other material is ribbed. This one is like very stretchy. It's that seamless material and it's quite thick, which I'm pretty excited about. Today I had, I tried the um, Whitney Simmons Gymshark collection and I was really shocked at how thin the material was. So I'm hoping the fact that this material is thick, like it's gonna be good. I'm not really a big fan of t-shirts, but I thought I'd give this a go. It's coming off a lot more purple on camera. I think in real life it's it's more pink, but it definitely is that purple kind of pink color, which I don't really have much of that. So I was happy. I was kind of, I wouldn't say disappointed with the color selection that she gave, but I was a bit like, it's giving, like I do love pink and purple and like the orange was interesting, but it's like, I'm a sucker for pink. So the fact that there was only one pink, I was like sad, but like, I guess her other collection was like 90% pink. So, but this is still a very cute pink and I don't have it. And then I got the shorts. I got them in a medium because I always get shorts in a medium just because I find shorts to be digging in. And I'm low-key confused if I should have got a size smaller or bigger because my first impression just looking at this is very odd. Like, that looks like it's built weird. Like, I don't know what it's doing. Like, what's that bum part is doing, but it does look a bit odd. It has the scrunch on the bum. It looks like it has a lot of fabric up the front, so I'm a bit worried about camel toe because usually if you have a lot of fabric, it can gather. But the waist seems pretty small for a medium, so I feel like I should be okay. I'm a bit concerned about the legs. I don't want that digging into my quads. I have thick thighs. That might be a problem. Um, has a scrunch at the back, which I'm really interested to try because it's like got like a like a contour effect where it looks like it rounds the bum. Like it literally looks like someone's butt is in this right now, like a little bum. So that'll be interesting to see on my body. I'm looking forward to seeing that. I guess in the next clip, I'll be trying it on. I also decided to just go ahead and order the coral color as well because I saw a, like an Insta post of someone wearing the coral. I think they turned the saturation up and made it look like it was a really bright orange that like makes you look tanned and stuff. I'm worried that this orange will actually be a bit more, in real life, it'll be a bit more faded and that's the type that on pale skin doesn't look good and I am naturally pale so here we have the bow and tea box of course so let's this is the moment of truth guys okay that's actually not bad it's definitely well against the light it's giving me neon orange which is what I wanted so I'm happy about that I got the crop top in a small just because I do know that it was like meant to be stretchy and stuff that is quite stretchy, so I feel like I should be fine. So, okay, I got these in a small. I was going to get the petite. She said to get the petite because apparently these are really long. And even looking at these, I can tell these are going to be super long on me. But they didn't have any smalls left in the petite, so I was like, whatever. 
And I'm not a petite girl anyway. Okay. Oh, damn. This looks tiny. Well, she said it's super stretchy. I feel like this is going to pinch my waist. That is like immediately really small. It's crazy to me that someone might see this and be like, yeah, this is exactly my size. But looking at this literally scares me. But it is giving bright orange, that's for sure. It's with the same booty thing happening. Um, I'm excited to try this on. It's giving length, though, so I'm a little bit worried. But I think it should be fine. I just, I hate when leggings gather at the bottom. But that's my own fault because I should have got the, um, if that does happen, then I should have just got the petite, like, she suggested for girls who are, like, around five foot five and under to get the petite. I'm foot five, five foot five and a half. And I was like, which should I do? No, that's fine. All right. Oh, I forgot to mention the tutorial. Yeah, it's like thick, um, seamless vibes. Let's try it on and then we will give that complete review. Okay. Oh, the bad fake tan. Immediately. Okay, this background is like not working. Hold on. Maybe got to lower you guys a little bit. Okay, immediately, definitely going to need to wear a bra under this just because the nipples are coming through. Um, it is very flattering on the bum. These shorts are too long. Uh, you guys are, know if you've watched my other videos, I really don't like long shorts. I also think... I definitely could have, I don't know how to show you, but size down in the shorts. They have a lot of fabric where they're like gathering here. Um, it's got a little bit too much fabric here, which sort of annoys me. Do I look green? This lighting is so weird. It says that they're squat proof. I think they are. I'm not so sure about the length. So yeah, what I would do, fold it under. Immediately that looks so much better. I don't know if I would wear this set together just because it's like a lot of pink, but the top is definitely cute. I don't usually go for something with like this much of an open neckline. But yeah, as you can see, there's a bit of excess fabric, but it's all right because the shorts are always like the size up because they are quite tight on my quads, which is what tends to happen anyway. Let's try on the other set. Okay, I will say I'm a big fan of this color. I thought I wasn't going to like it, but it definitely has that... The coral has that more neon aspect, which I feel like makes you look more tan. I really like this sports bra. This is a small. Usually smalls are like too tight on me, but this kind of fits perfect. I'm glad I got a small in the leggings. However, I'm not glad that I got the regular ones. They didn't have any of the petite left in a size small, and I didn't want to do a medium. So this is the issue we're having right now. So much excess fabric at the bottom. That's my own sort of fault because like in Megan's thing, she did say like to get petite it's way too long and i'm like like i'm not a short girl so like this really shouldn't be a problem i understand that like maybe for like girls who are taller they'd want a full length legging but now i just feel a bit ridiculous with like all this excess bunch at the bottom <laughs> like i guess i can pretend that i'm so cute and short that i have to fold my leggings i do like them okay this is from the valentine's day collection um so this is a small in the bottoms and the top which usually i never that but this one i feel like the megan grub ones run bigger this is the thing with long tee like some of their things run super small and others run big these just happen to run big i love this color i'm just not a fan of like the bra like it's not really a bra it's more of a crop top but like at the back i don't know if it's just me but that's kind of like not flattering um the shorts are cute the back is like cute because it's got like the lines but i just feel like i couldn't work out in this because like I don't know, it's just like too short. But yeah, I thought I'd just like give you a quick comparison, although this color is super cute. So yeah, that is my review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and it gets you... Oh, I don't... To reference like sizing, I'm usually small tops, medium bottoms, but I usually do a medium in sports bras just because like my rib cage is a little bit wide, so sometimes sports bras like dig in. But for these ones, I did a small and everything. So if you're kind of similar to my sizes, then that will hopefully give you an idea. Other than that, thanks for watching. If you have any other gym wear brands you guys want me to review, let me know in the comments or DM it to you on Instagram, whatever you like. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video.